Today, I want to talk about a simple three-step process to help you build and launch your app successfully. And make sure you stick around until the end because I also want to tell you how to access a completely free training that's going to help you get started with your app right now, today. Or if you've already started building your app, it's going to help you make sure that you have done so correctly so that you can avoid lots of problems down the road. So first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help business owners and industry experts build custom apps to either start their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. So a simple three-step process to help you successfully build and launch your no-code app. The very first step is to plan correctly. And this sounds very simple, that, that is the point here, but uh, a lot of people overlook this step. And that leads to a lot of problems with their apps down the road, problems with bringing users on board, problems with um, performance and scalability with their apps as well. So they have trouble growing their apps. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the right plan in place. Uh, many non-tech entrepreneurs think that because they are using no-code tools to build their apps, that it's gonna be really straightforward and easy, that they can do so really quickly without having any relevant background or experience. And as a non-tech entrepreneur, you can build your own custom app without coding, but you need to have the right plan in place if you wanna do so successfully. If you wanna successfully build your app from a technical standpoint so that it performs well and that it scales, and so that you can successfully actually put it into your user's hands. So you need to create a roadmap for your development. And this is one of the first things that we do when we work with our own clients as they're building the first versions of their app. So we put an entire uh, roadmap in place for, the, for their development. And what this involves is basically looking at your longer term goals with the app. So what does your full scope app look like? And what do you need to get as a return from building this app? Now, this looks more at the uh, business side of things, right? What is your projected ROI for the app? What are you getting out of it on the other end? So we look at these really big picture items and then we start working our way backwards and we start getting more granular so that we can put not only an overall plan in place. So when we come out on the other end of this uh, planning, uh, planning session, we have a start to finish development roadmap for the entire lifetime of their app so that they can actually build and grow from that and continue to evolve successfully. But that is then broken down in a much more granular way because you know, just having the destination in mind isn't going to get you there. You have to have you know, the turn right here, go straight for 50 miles, and so on. You have to get specific. And so that's what we do next. We plan out all of these specifics. We take a phased approach to development, and break that app's development down into phases, and we inject feedback points at the right time during those stages so that everything is being built in the right order at the right time and all of the necessary feedback is being gathered. And again, a lot of people overlook this because the only thing they're thinking about is how can I start generating a revenue from this, right? And yes, that's important, but that's the big picture goal here. There are so many other steps that you have to go through. And so what ends up happening is people skip over all of those and they never reach that big picture goal. And that is just really unfortunate because we've seen way too many non-tech entrepreneurs come into this space with a ton of motivation. They have a really great app idea, a solution that they want to build. They have a lot of validation, a lot of demand for it, but they fail to follow a process. And so they either never get to the other side where they can launch their app or when they do, they just start getting really poor feedback because they didn't follow the right roadmap in order to get there. So the very first step 
is to plan, put the correct plan in place. Now, the second step is to prioritize. And again, this, this sounds really simple, but it's these simple steps that if you put them into place, your chances of success will dramatically increase. So prioritize. You have this plan. You have this roadmap. Now you have to break that down even more. What are your priorities today? What about tomorrow? What about the next day? A lot of people just wing it. And I get it. You're busy. You have a job or a business. You have a life. Maybe you have a family. All pulling for your attention. Now, when that happens and you've committed to building your app, you might find that it's really hard to find the time. But you have to prioritize in the right way. You have to make sure that, number one, you're making time, but number two, that you're working on the right things at the right time. And this is really important. And this kind of goes back to the planning stage, but you know, even when you have that plan in place, there are lots of really granular pieces um, that you have to, again, start prioritizing and making sure that you're looking at the right things at the right time in the right order. Because if you start building um, you know, the wrong features, for example, at the wrong time. Maybe you start building them too soon when other components aren't yet in place that are needed to support them, then you're going to find yourself doing a lot of backtracking. And this is what we see so, so often when people don't have these plans and they don't know how to prioritize. It's just constant backtracking, constant rebuilding. Their development time frame extends well beyond what they had anticipated and they, they often never make it through because um, they just don't think it's realistic anymore. But it is realistic. You can do this, but you just need the right process, right? You need the right plan. You need to know how to prioritize as you go because that's just as important um, from a technical standpoint as it is from a strategic standpoint. So the third step is to execute, right? This is um, something that we emphasize and something we value in our built a, built a scale program, where we work directly with our clients as they're building their app. The execution, the plan, and all of that prioritization, none of that matters if you can't execute. You can have the absolute best, most detailed, perfected plan in the world, but if you can't execute on it, what is the point? Okay, now, Again, like I said, you probably have a job or a business, a life, a family. You have other things going on that pull your time away. But, you know, if, if you can't set aside time now for something that you know is going to give you a return, that you, that you are dedicated to seeing through, if you can't set it aside now, then when will you? Will you set it aside after you know, your next client project is over, after your vacation, after you know, this and this and this? No, probably not. If you're not willing to set it aside now, then you're probably never going to. And I don't mean that to sound harsh, but the reality is all of those things are always going to be there. No matter what, there is likely never ever going to be a scenario where you can say, hey, you know that job or that business I have, I'm going to put it on pause. And you know that life or that family I have, I'm going to put it on pause. and I'm going to lock myself away in this office until this is finished. That is never going to be a reality. And so all of these things in your life uh, and in your job or your business, they're always going to be there. And so you're either going to execute now you're going to commit to following the plan, to executing on all of those priorities, or there's a very good chance that you never will. And again, I don't mean that to sound harsh, but I also am speaking to that from personal experience. And you likely, even though it might take a little bit of real talk with yourself to admit it, you likely know this to be the case as well. There will always, always, always be other things on your plate. But um, if you're anything like our clients, you also know that if it's ever going to get done and you know, you know that this should get done, you know that 
this is something that you've probably been thinking about or dreaming about building for years now. You know that you just need to set aside the time and do it because the time is never going to come to you. You have to make the time. And, and that's what the execution is all about. It's, it's putting that plan in place, being able to prioritize. So having the process, being able to follow the process, but then actually executing on it. Because if you can't execute, then no, nothing else matters. All right. I hope that was helpful. Those are the three steps that can truly change the success you see with your app, both from a strategic standpoint and from a technical standpoint. So if you found any of that helpful, then I also want you to check out this free training we put together for you. It's a 70 minute completely free training that's going to walk you through how to get started with your app really quickly. You can literally get started on your app today. And if you've already started building your app, you're still going to want to go through this because I want to make sure that you've started with your app correctly so that you do um, or so that you are able to avoid a lot of the problems we see with, um, you know, poorly executed launches, poorly performing apps, and so on. So to check out this free training, you can head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop. So sign up for the free training. You can get started with your app today or make sure that you've started with your app correctly. All right. I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.